what extent do you think certain personality clashes about which I've heard might have affected the attitude of the UK government to these meetings? I should say, my lady, that I had the highest regard for the First Minister of Scotland and the First Minister and Deputy First Minister of Northern Ireland. They were never anything but collegiate uh, people. They took phone calls. They were involved in discussions. I, I had a very high regard for them all. The UK government was always anxious about their interactions with the First Minister of Scotland um, because you know, she did have a different uh, underlying ambition for the future of Scotland, and that coloured their attitude towards her. She was also a formidable politician, and many UK ministers were afraid of her uh, and would rather not have uh, been engaged in a, in a confrontational dialogue with her. That wasn't true of the Prime Minister. He was happy to talk to to anybody, but and I don't think he avoided discussions for that reason. He avoided them because he did not want to give the impression that the Prime Minister of the United Kingdom was somehow on a par with First Ministers of other nations. It was the optics that he objected to, I think, rather than the personality. personality.